Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Demaya, your intuitive guide. And I am going to be doing an intuitive reading for my air signs, specifically for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Today is September 24th. It is Saturday and I hope that you all are having a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilled day. That you guys are taking care of yourself, finding some meditation, doing some self-care, getting out there and taking care of the things that you need to for yourself, as well as for your household. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, so to start the reading, we are um, looking at mortality. That is our first card at the bottom of the deck. So that is what we're going to be talking about. Um, it's in reverse. So it's pretty much talking about life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. But it's coming out in the reverse. And so that's basically telling me that pretty much um, you're going to be living a long life. You could be looking at life in a way where you're like, afraid to die or you don't want to die or you could just be nonchalant about it too you could just not give a fuck whether you live or die <laughs> but um yeah it says falling um the unknown descent momentum change there's a lot that's changing in your life at this time as well there could be a lot of people um basically coming into your life or there there could be a lot that you're questioning about life in general too as well you could feel like you don't ever want to die um you could be in fear of death too i was saying earlier that you could not be afraid but when getting this card i feel like you you fear the unknown you could be in fear of you know not knowing where you're you'll go you could not be afraid to die but you could also feel like you're not you're you're in fear of not knowing where you'll go once you do pass away it says follow your own good advice but that's coming out in reverse so you're someone who doesn't trust yourself you could be a loose cannon you could pop off at any moment and don't give a fuck who you you know who the detriment is to or who you fuck over which is also being like a um psychopath i'm not a psychopath but a sociopath when you a fuck mm -hmm. something about fuck when you fuck but i don't want to say i wasn't trying to say that but spirit is saying that so hopefully they give me the rest of that information because that is something else but maybe when you fuck over yourself is pretty much what they're saying but um yeah you could pretty much be someone who gives advice but you don't take your own advice pretty much fucking over people is what spirit is saying you can give people advice and tell them things to do but you don't take your own advice and people could look at you as a fucked up person or that your life is fucked up so how can you tell them what to do but you pretty much are a socio i was trying to say that you could be a sociopath when you fuck over people's lives is what spirit is trying to say and you don't have any care as to what happens to them or you know how it can lead you know their life what can take place in their life from your actions or how it affects their life from your actions nonsense you could do a lot of nonsense a lot of things that's not worth doing you could take a lot of actions that's uncaused for as well um you could be saying a lot of reckless shit out of your mouth that you really don't mean or that you need to be careful of what you're saying people people could be taking um, heed to what you're talking about someone can be using this against you or someone is just you know realizing that you're not who they thought you were um, follow your own good advice is coming out again you're someone who definitely is a loose cannon you don't know what the fuck you're capable of doing you can have you know you could be schizophrenic or you can have you could definitely be 5150 is what i'm getting and hearing it says i wonder what will happen next but in reverse so you're not someone who gives a fuck about what's gonna happen next i'm definitely it's definitely giving me sociopath vibes like you cause a lot of problems or someone else does cause a lot of problems in your life or other people's life and they don't give a fuck how fucked up they you know they fuck up their life they don't give a fuck about what they're doing who they're doing it to you know when they're upset they're just upset they just see black and white they don't see anything around them they don't pay attention to anybody around them they don't care who's judging them they don't care what anyone has to say they don't give a fuck who recording it or any of those type of things they just gotta do what they gotta do at that time and moment yeah someone doesn't think before they take action they just you know are a loose cannon 
and I fuck them over all the time. And if it hasn't, it's going to bite them in the ass now because it's written in the stars. So <laughs> something is getting ready to take place in regards to whoever this person is. It says, follow your own good advice. Yep. And you're going to have to start paying for, you know, all of that talking that you put up and put out and tell people and recommend on what they should do. All of your recommendations. Now your recommendations are actually going to place you in a fucked up situation. Yeah, and I'm getting that someone who you've been giving recommendations to, they don't like none of the shit that you have to say. And this is someone who actually want to fight you. This is someone who actually feels like you tried to give them some advice to fuck them over. You could have tried to give them advice about a relationship or whatever the case may have been. But whatever it was, you wasn't taking your own re um, relationship advice. And you tried to tell someone something that you would do if you were stronger, not the person that you actually are. You're not a strong person or this person isn't a strong person and they recommended someone to be strong and to leave someone or something to that degree, but they wasn't willing to do it themselves or they haven't, you know, they was never strong enough to be that person. It could have been because they got left that they're telling someone that they should leave someone because misery loves company. And now this person is feeling like, you know, why weren't you saying that? Or why wasn't you taking your own advice when this person you were with was fucking you over and had you out here looking stupid as hell? they don't like you or you don't like this person such a curious dream grounding you can need to ground yourself returning to reality coming home or you could just now be starting to face facts of you know all of the setbacks that you're having that you're causing yourself all of the fucked up shit that you've been doing to yourself and others is now starting to take a hit and then where now you finally have to pay attention to what you've do done and all of the um create all of the chaotic creations that you created around you you have to start cleaning up and actually taking the seat back and you know actually evaluating this whole mess and cleaning it up pretty much you are rare and free you could be someone um there are not many like you you could be someone who just like i said you don't give a fuck there's not much that you give a fuck about you don't care who you fuck over or anything like that and there could be more people around you who do care about their actions and do care about what other people think of them or you know do care about what other people say about them whereas you don't it says i wonder what will happen next ready to adventure um but pause before action but that is in reverse um, so you could be getting ready to take a trip or you could be getting ready to go somewhere or go towards something and you're not really giving it too much thought. You're just, you know, going for it. You feel like it's the best thing for you to do and you're going to do it. It says never jam today. Um, promises that never come to be empty words, not living in the now. So yeah, someone talks a lot of shit, but they can't back it up. Um, someone pretty much, you know say they're going to do something and they don't do it they're just all talking no action they're just you know pretty much a sad fucking case that everyone likes to talk about and critique what you do how you do it what you say and don't do <laughs> i want to be a queen someone is saying they want to be a queen stating your servant sovereign sovereignty <laughs> sovereignty <laughs> declaring freedom passing a test so you could have just recently passed the test though or you could be liberating yourself and walking away from a lot of shit though this way that i'm describing previously as for mentioned is a way that you could have had and you are now getting ready to walk into actually being you know more grounded being a grown-up about situations actually looking at and thinking things through looking at situations and thinking things through before you actually do them you're going to start living in a now you're going to actually start taking care of yourself with the never jam today in reverse you're going to actually start caring about you know what people think what people say and how people view you you could have you know ran a lot of people away by having this whole you know idea of what life is where you don't give a fuck about what people think of you um a moment's regret nostalgia release i <sighs> idolizing the past fearing you've made a mistake yeah you could be fearing that you made a mistake but there's a lot of change that's coming these changes are your confidence you could have lost a lot of confidence and had to rebuild it 
you had to learn how to stop living in the past as well though you could be in that you know moment of fear now at first you didn't care about what people think now you care about what people think now you care about what people say now you consider all of the fucked up things you did in your past and how they didn't fare you well fare you well and so now you're actually you know being careful you growing up yeah the growing up card is coming out it says one in a growing experience rejection of perpetual youth so you're definitely someone who is finally taking action towards making changes in your life you want to you know do things different you want people to see you in a different light you don't want people to see you as the person you used to be you want people to understand that you've made mistakes and you are actually growing past them and learning from them it says keep your temper but this could be difficult for you to do though people could piss you off a lot of times and you have to be careful of what you're saying because you're a loose cannon when people piss you off it takes a little while for you to calm down or for you to actually think about what you just did after all that calming down you already had created a lot of fucking disaster and you wasn't hearing anyone when they were trying to tell you to calm down and sit the fuck down wake up in reverse you used to not want to um you know wake up to your reality you used to not want to pay attention to anything anyone has to say keep your temper you're gonna need to keep your temper something from your past is going to piss you off or you know something about the way people are judging you because you know comparing your past to your present is going to be pissing you off as well because you feel like you've changed you feel like you're now grounded with the such a curious dream coming out you feel like you're becoming a better person and you're hoping that because you think this way but you may not be acting in this way you may still have that you know loose as a cannon fucking attitude where you get pissed off real easily you're going you're you know you're going to need to ground yourself and remember that you're changing for a reason and that the reasons that you're changing for is to make yourself better and because of the very reasons of what people are judging you for because you no longer want to be judged by those actions and the things that you you've done and you actually want to you know correct your wrongs we have a lot of fire out here and we have some earth element. We have um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but we heavily, heavily, heavy, heavily have heavy Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. People from your past can judge your temper a lot. They can speak down on how you used to be as well. Say that you used to fuck up shit all the time. Say that you know you was very, you know, um... What is the word that I'm trying to... Mischievous. That you couldn't be trusted. That you're someone that you got to watch. Or someone who's very much so, you know, you come off as innocent. But you got a lot of ways about yourself that ain't shit about you innocent. You know, and then once somebody piss you off or any little thing that happens that doesn't go your way. You have a fucking fit. But all of that is changing. You're getting better, but it's going to take some time for people to recognize that change within you. So you just got to be patient with yourself as well as patient with others, because there's a lot of things that you've done in your past that, you know, people just not going to believe that you changed it so suddenly or that you you began to change. Some people could think that you're always going to be the same because you've always responded the same way towards different situations and that's usually acting out of anger or you know letting your anger get the best of you without fully you know finding other ways to handle the situations but guys 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 that is all that i have for you please do like 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 this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you like to be updated on all of my latest reads i have more readings coming out soon so guys just be on the look look out for those there's a looker so you could be very much so very attractive someone could say that you're a looker you got good looks i don't know that's an old ass saying sounds like to me but that's what i heard but guys i'll see you guys soon or be on the lookout look out for things that are to come to pass or look out for you know people trying to press your buttons push your buttons don't let people get to you have yourselves a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilled day, guys. Make sure that you're updating yourselves with my latest reads by subscribing. Join the channel, guys. Join the Our Soul family. I love, love, love to have you here. And I appreciate your love, light, and support as I am always sending you mine. Bye.